every exterior wall, it, it, it goes like this. So <clears throat> looking at it this look, looking at it this way, um, this is looking at it straight on. So these are your columns, okay? Here's your corner column. Corner column and your grade beam. Grade beam is here, all right? This is another column, column, and then you have Q deck, we'll say, up here, right? Or there'll be like, uh, there'll be iron and then Q, Q deck on top of it, okay? So you'll have uh, beams going across from column to column, and then on top of the beams, there'll be um, Q deck, all right? So this is just an I beam, we'll say, okay? All right, I beam, so column, 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 concrete grade beam at the bottom here. And then this is an I-beam for the roof. And then there'll be Q-deck for that roof on top of that I-beam. All right. Or, and then there'll be trusses and stuff like that on the inside of the building. You want to make sure uh, that you check out the finish of your exterior wall. If it's cladding, you need to make sure um, uh, that all of the steel is on the outside of the concrete of the steel, right? All of your, all of your steel stud has to be on the outside or uh, at flush at least to the outside of the uh, iron because you want your drywall, the dense glass, okay, to run flush. To want to, the, the dense glass has to be a nice, uh, like a nice flush level plane, Okay, so that the Z bar can go on, the semi rigid can go on, and so on. If it's simply like say like EFIS, for example, okay, then you can you can uh, maybe go as per drawings because you can cut the back of the styrofoam around the uh, iron and things like that. But this is what I'm talking about. You need to uh, cheat cheat the steel out, regardless of what the drawings say. Okay, you need to check from one corner of the building to the other uh, with a rotating laser or or at least a la like a line laser. I can do it with a pin laser even. <laughs> but uh, check from one end to the other all your, all your um, like, you know, your, all your points to make sure that you have the right correct adjustment, right? If you need to come out, uh, say, like a half inch here to go to be flush here, right? Or say you, if you come out a half inch, it'll be a half inch out here, half inch out here, but it'll be flush here. You know, you got to find that, right? Um, because yeah, you want a nice flat plane. It doesn't matter. An exterior wall, it does not matter what, like the interior of that, it really doesn't matter. You, there are so many things you can do to fix the inside of a wall, but there's not a lot of things you can do to fix in the outside of the wall. And if it's a serious change adjustment from the drawing, then tell the superintendent. Say, listen, the 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 steel here is messed up, so I'm bringing it. I'm uh, like, sorry, the structural steel, the iron is messed up here, so I'm gonna bring out my steel stud so that the the dense glass goes flush, so the guys, can, the cladding guys can get their Z bar on and blah blah blah. Okay, don't worry about so much the inside of it. Okay, um, the windows and door openings, like our ROs and things like that, pretty simple. Uh, get the elevations uh, from the window and door schedule and or even better get it from the superintendent the superintendent's great for information they don't really they don't mind giving you numbers ROs because then they know it's going to be right and it's gonna be the way they want it right so they really don't mind giving you door or window openings so don't be afraid to go ask them that um, and then the same thing with the concrete at the bottom okay if the if the concrete's messed up, Right, you can always adjust your steel a little bit so that it lines up or not, you know. Um, but yeah, so simple as that. But anyways, um, so when you're working on an exterior wall, it always works like this. Okay, there's going to be two types. You got your uh, normal bay, which is like that. Okay, and then you got your uh, cross beam. Okay, your cross brace. Sorry, sections. Okay, you have cross cross brace sections, and you got you just your open sections. On your open sections, it's it's simple. You you just um, you're gonna shoot a stud, right? You're gonna shoot a stud to either either column, right? Shoot a stud here, shoot a stud there, 
right? You're shooting your top your top track on first, of course, right? Top track gets shot on to the iron up there, and then your bottom track gets drilled, like hammer drilled in. Usually they don't go for just shots in, in exterior walls. You have to hammer drill it in um, and then shoot your steel, okay? And then stud it out. When, you, when you're doing a cross brace, it's, it's pretty simple too. Uh, you, might, you might need to set an offset, okay? But um, usually, usually if you just start from the top, okay, and work your way down, you're going to need to track that, track that, track, 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 and track. Uh, you only need slip track at the top. All the other places, you can, you can use standard track, okay? You only need slip track at the top. And then it's simple, right? You have to laser up, and the line lasers are the best, right, for everything. You just light, laser up every stud in your cross brace. But yeah, start, start shooting track in at the top and work your way down, okay? So that you don't block your laser from the bottom, right? You, you know, and then stud it out. So those are the only two types you're ever really gonna ever really gonna run into, um, is your cross section and your and your just your open section, and that's how and that's how it works, right? So it's kind of simple as that. Yeah, Hilti is what I got too. I use Hilti for everything. Um, I could do this whole thing with a with a PM two LG. I can do this whole thing, and that's what I mean. You don't need this these lasers that shoot um, two hundred feet because these are these sections are gonna be like twenty feet right? 20 feet, 20 feet, 20 feet. You know what I mean? And you're building section by section by section. And then when you get on the inside, okay, like, yeah, like there's, there's rarely rare, rare situations where I've had to even use a rotating laser, you know, um, just like just some big exterior jobs and shit, you know, right? Because what you gotta, oh, because what you need to do really understand is the, the parapets guys, because uh, what you have here is, it's going to be kind of crazy. It's always crazy, okay? You got a big eye beam here, okay? All right? Think about this for a second, okay? You got a big high beam, right? Or uh, you got st steel that runs, you know, it, it'll be attached together or whatever. But anyways, it's a, it's a big gap between your steel stud, all right? And this is usually two feet wide, okay? It, this beam is usually two feet wide, and then you got your Q deck, right on uh, here. Blah blah blah, blah 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 blah. Listen, I'm not gonna draw a Q deck, but then that's your Q deck, right? I shouldn't have done that. Um, I should just draw a little section of Q deck, anyways. But it'll the Q deck goes all the way across, of course. Blah blah blah. Okay, so um, this is where this is where it gets kind of kind of interesting. All right, uh, the Q deck is gonna need to have plywood put down. Okay, a roll of plywood, and then this is your parapets, guys, up here. Okay. All right, parapets. This is this is like a little wall that you build up on the roof called a parapet. Okay. Right. So you so you you need to make sure that your walls clear so that your parapets are straight up. Okay. Like you need to make sure that you're gonna be able to build the wall, have the parapets, everything has to line up. It has to be a, a, a plane a nice e like uh level plane okay it has to be beautiful so there's all these things you need to take into consideration right because the 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 wall doesn't stop at this i beam right like a lot of framers seem to think but it doesn't it it, can, it carries on to the parapets so the parapets is another part of the wall it's the same wall okay um it's just it's just you know what it's split it's split between the 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 I beam and the Q deck right so it's um it's 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 important part okay so these will have a different L this will have a certain elevation the roof could be sloped right sloped okay but this will have a constant elevation so you you, you know that's where you get the rotator up on the roof parapets the rotator on the roof for parapets is the bomb for the elevations okay so um it you know it, you just set it up and you see, parapets a lot of times are good to do first guys a lot of times you'll see them uh the parapets done first that way um you can just 
uh, laser down your walls. Okay. A smart foreman will actually do that. We'll do the parapets first. Okay. And then, um, and then they'll be able to let laser down the walls. Okay. It's mint. Okay. So, uh, think about that. Always keep the parapet into consideration. Um, let me just pair up pair. It's a parapet parapet, right? Parapet. Something like that. Yeah, it's not pit, parapet. Don't do your parapets without the plywood and the blue skin. That's I just that's basically all I wanted to make sure. Make sure the blue skin and the plywood is done before you do any parapets, okay? Um, parapets will also have scuppers, okay? Um, most of them will. They're little holes in your parapet so the water can flow out. Um, check to see if your building has parapets or scuppers in your parapets. Don't miss those, right? That's like missing a floor, like missing uh, the fire dampers in a in a in a condo building or something. You know, it's a it's a nightmare after the fact. So, anyways, there. That's the that's the lesson for tonight, boys. If you guys have any final questions, ask them right now. Because uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cheers, boys. <laughs> Thanks, Emmy Superstar. Appreciate. Appreciate that, dude. Any questions you have at all about this subject, be sure to leave them down in the comments because I get back to absolutely everybody, guys. So I'm going to leave a video right here so you can keep learning, and I'm going to see you in the next one.